I'm 53 years old. I've been healthy my entire life, never in a hospital. So, you know, the thought of surgery was scary. I wasn't able to work out as much as I like to. Walking, sometimes I'd get these shocks, but I also knew I couldn't live like this. So I did what I had to do. And thank you. My name is Walter Valentine, and I had neck surgery with Dr. Sonstein. My specialty is treating mainly degenerative spinal conditions uh, that affect the neck and the lower spine. Most of the surgery that I'm involved with involves uh, decompressing nerves that are affected mainly by arthritis and sometimes offering patients in addition stabilization or fusions of the both the neck and also the lower spine if necessary. Spinal stenosis is a fairly generic term uh, which means narrowing of the canal in which the nerve or the spinal cord actually goes through. Doctors basically have been doing this procedure for many many years. It's called an anterior cervical discectomy and um, spine surgery through the in the neck can actually be done both from the front or from the back. Um, this type of surgery that Walter required uh, was one that was better done through the front of the neck because the disc was mainly from the front uh, and causing compression of the spinal cord and you really can't get to it from behind because the spinal cord is there. About 50% of people um, have some form of neck degeneration or cervical disc degeneration. Basically of the people that are symptomatic from that, about 5 to 10% of those people uh, develop at some point compression of their spinal cord and that which becomes clinically significant and those people they certainly may be candidates for for surgery and my suggestion is that you go right away and get it done right away it's ridiculous not to